So I just got some packages in from Luxy Designs and I've been seeing these on the internet, but I never had any for my own personal collection. So now it's time to crack these boxes open and put these things to the test and see if they're actually worth copping or not. I made sure that I got a couple different variations for the shoe cases, even for the bear brake cases and for your card holders as well. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! on this channel I love talking about sneakers and especially accessories like this when it comes to making your room just a little bit better and having a dope display along the way so if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there now let's go ahead and crack this box open oh All right, so here is what it looks like when you come unpackaged straight fresh out the box. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of showing you guys unboxing all these on camera, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look of that process. This actually comes fully assembled and ready to go. So literally from the box to display, that's a good thing to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack the rest of these boxes open real quick, and then I'll show you guys what they look like each individually and talk about all of them when it comes to the functionality, the quality, the pricing, and all that stuff. All right, so starting with this first case right here, this is going to be the acrylic drop side case. So as you can see, it has a door on the side the face right here some people normally call these the drop fronts which is on this side which we will get to because they have that one as well I personally like the side ones more because of the side profile it does take a little bit more space on the wall when you're displaying it but at the same time you do get to actually see the entire profile side of the shoe and sometimes it's cool with the back end of the shoe because there's a logo which we'll get into a little bit later with the other one and I'll, I'll pull out a couple shoes to show you guys what it looks like so essentially this is gonna be an all acrylic on the top end right here it's kind of rounded on the edges and then you have two holes on the front end two holes on the back end and then on the bottom of it right here there's actually little pegs so you got the four pegs so this is what makes it stackable so I'm going to show you that in a second as well but basically you have that and then you have the door right here there's two magnets right here on the front end and then the two magnets right here on the top right here with the hinge and then as you can see it's kind of like a soft close and then it just pulls close like that and just magnets so what we're gonna do is stick a pair of shoes inside of here we're gonna go with the Oregon duck theme on this one so we're gonna pair a pair right here now also for you guys that don't know i'm a size 13 so as you can see these do fit in here and there is some wiggle room on the sides it's a little bit close at the top but it's not actually touching and this is an air jordan 7 which is a little bit higher top of a sneaker when it comes to something like that we'll also put some air jordan ones in here that's a size 13 so just when it comes to the overall size and everything it looks like it's a pretty good fit right here i'll try to make sure i have the exact measurements for you guys down below in the description as well but these are things that i'll always like to pay attention to especially with me being a size 13 i know there's a lot of other collectors out there that especially watch this channel because of those reasons so hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea of the spacing and the sizing it looks like you might be able to fit a size 15 in here depending on how high the shoe is and the different factors like that but overall that's looking good so far so like i was saying earlier these are pretty easy to stack so if you put it in right here you can see the holes from the bottom just kind of fit right in and it all runs kind of smooth and flush and honestly this is looking pretty good it has a very clean look to it and i'm gonna pull the hinge door down here and then we're gonna stick another pair of shoes in here we're gonna go with the oregon ducks theme on this one because you know this is a pair of PEs. I think they should go in a nice acrylic box like this. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna spend top dollar on a display, I think you definitely wanna have, you know, your top dollar sneakers on display. So this is kind of what it looks like when it comes to the two right here. I'll put it to the side so you guys can see, obviously the B-roll and the photos and everything is helpful as well. But essentially it's pretty simple when it comes to taking it out of the package and just throwing a pair of shoes in there and displaying them. Now let's take it to the drop front ones and see what those look like. So now this one right here, as you can see, based off of positioning, it's gonna be essentially the same when it comes to the look, but now you have the door on the front end right here and it has that hinge. And then we'll stick the pair of shoes in there in a second. Same thing with the holes on the top and the bottom. And then it's got that rounded edge right here on the top end. We're gonna go with the UNC vibes on these ones. And like I was saying earlier, you got the logo on the back, so it makes sense to kind of have it displayed like this. Now, as you can see right here, I'm trying to stick the shoe in flush. It doesn't really work. The tongue is just barely catching, but all you're gonna need to do in this situation is turn it just a little bit. And then you can see the tongue is now touching the top end of the container. And then right here, tuck the tongue in and 
not too bad i could easily like this one i just took the tongue down just a little bit and it fits good everything is straight so to me i don't see that as a huge problem and i know i'm a size 13 so that is something you always have to worry about but when it comes to overall display and aesthetics and look and the shoe actually fitting in there nicely and not having problems and being displayed correctly and with that so far we're looking pretty good when it comes to the drop fronts as well now like i was saying earlier these are stackable so i'm going to put another one right here now this is the air jordan one those are pretty high as well. Again, size 13. Let's stick that in this way. Looking good. Now, I'm sure one of the questions that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be asking, and I'm asking as well, do these actually fit on top of each other with the fronts and the sides? I don't know, so let's test it right now and see. All right, so I'm basically gonna just turn this one this way and stick it on top. Okay, so, ooh, here we go. Now, the answer to the question, no, these are not compatible. Yes, it looks like it's sitting on there, but there's actually about an inch difference when it comes to the length and where the actual holes are on the containers. I don't know if that's based off of where they put the hinges at and different stuff like that, but when it comes to actual functionality and being able to stack these, it's not going to work. Um, as you can see right here, it's locked in on the back end, but not on the front end. Now it's locked in on the front end and not on the back end. And there's kind of a lip right here and then another lip right here. So essentially, if you were to go and buy these, you're gonna have to kind of, you know, you could do both, but you have to know that, hey, if you do both, these are gonna be over here, those are gonna be over there. They're just gonna be two different types of display styles when it comes to showing, you know, the back end or the front end, because you don't wanna butt them all together on the showing the drop fronts and then you're not able to access the shoes and get them. So because of that, they made this version so that way you can still see the profile of the foot like i said earlier i'm more of a fan of this style when it comes to display now when it comes to efficiency and being able to fit as many pairs of shoes on the wall to display you're gonna go with this one simply because just of you know it doesn't take as much width on the wall space and it'll stick out a little bit more from the wall but that's completely fine so if you need to make more room and have you know more sneakers displayed this is probably going to be your option with the drop front let's take it to the card display and the toy display case as well so originally i wasn't sure how much i was going to actually like this but low-key this is kind of cool this is looking like a really great option now you have the acrylic top right here and then there's a square bottom it's got some grippers on the bottom right here as well so it looks like it should be stackable it shouldn't be a problem because they should be able to kind of grip together but there's no actual like holes in it to make it all kind of lock in i think it's more of like one of those one-offs just having you know a bear break or two sitting on your desk or on a mantle or something like that for display which is cool as well i got about 15 20 different bear breaks so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna display them but i know when i do want to pull out something like this like my gold one this is actually the first time i've ever taken it out the box before i knew what it looked like when i bought it but I want to be able to display it, so I'm happy about this. I'm actually really happy about this. Now, on the back end right here, you can see there's a mirror, and then we got the bear brake, so I'm going to stick this in here. And this, again, very simple process. Hopefully, that's centered. And then we're just going to slide this over the top, and it is good to go on display. Now, I can be able to display this somewhere. It's protected. It looks really nice, and I can, you know, worry about, I don't have to worry about getting dusty and everything. All I gotta do is wipe off the top right here. So after seeing all this stuff, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I personally think these all look really great, especially with all the PEs in here on display and kind of more of those one-off or that boutique kind of style, giving you those, you know, maybe five or six kind of containers sitting over here, two over there, one over there at your office desk type of thing. So I think this kind of gives you that dope aesthetic when it comes to advancing your office and your nice space. So. I'm excited about these. I'm looking forward to having these on the display. And again, if you guys want to get some, I made sure I got you guys a discount code. That's going to be DNA show. Use that at the checkout and that'll get you guys 10% off of all your orders. And hopefully this video was helpful. If you want to see any other product reviews, let me know down below in the comment section. So that way I can make sure I reach out to the brands and I can give you guys the best in-depth reviews as possible and get you guys as many discounts as possible as well. So I'll see you in another one. I appreciate you as always. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.